morning before it gets a little bit better. Then the winds will be ramping back up on Sunday. Taking a look at what's left of the storm, still creating a lot of problems as it moves through the northeast, but the rest of the nation, including Texas, doing much better. Still very cold to the north. Another storm system setting up most of the clouds from Washington down into um, or Oregon and Washington, rather. And here we're still dry, not a cloud out there. It is going to be clear with the Santa Ana winds keeping things very, very dry. They will continue until next week, increasing Sunday, Monday, and then potentially everything super dry and it's going to continue. But they're going to be ramping up later in the week. Most likely Thursday will be the day to watch for gusty winds. Relative humidity averaging at 17% in Julian, 15 in Ramona, 18 in Escondido. And look at that, in the 30s, even near the coast. So what's happening in the big picture in the upper levels of the atmosphere? High pressure is developing just offshore in the Pacific Ocean and is keeping everyone across the West Coast under this bubble of very warm air, four degrees. Taking a look at the wind advisory in effect at 8 o'clock tonight through 4 p.m. on Thursday includes our inland communities all the way back to our mountains. The winds right now gusting around 18 miles per hour towards Harrison Park and is not as windy as it will be tonight and into tomorrow. The wind potential is going to increase. The strongest winds will be on Thursday with wind gusts potentially reaching up to 60 miles per hour. So there's, there's that potential for some wind damage as we head into tomorrow. Relative about a sh uh, degree lower than the record of 88 degrees. We did make it at 3.30 this afternoon, but we're still waiting on the official records. 75 degrees in Carlsbad, also 75 in La Jolla. And over towards the mountains, a little bit better in Mount Laguna, where it's 53 degrees. Our winds, they were very strong early today, and the winds will continue to be out of the east-northeast. That Santa Ana wind pattern is not going to be changing, but the winds will become weaker tonight into tomorrow. And then it's actually just a brief break. Used to those 80s for several days, but it's all about to change in just 24 hours. The conditions right now are still nice out there on the way. We'll continue to see those numbers lower even more tomorrow, another 15 to 25 degrees. It'll be windy in the mountains and deserts, and we're going to see the potential for some scattered showers. So this is a very drastic change in just a matter of days. We still have a threat of wind, but it's going to be from the opposite direction. The winds will be westerly, and this high wind warning will be for our mountains and also for our desert. In effect, until one o'clock in the morning, it was extended for a few more hours. As we look across the county, our pinpoint Doppler live showing you what is happening. So we're going to go from the North County to the South Bay. Starting in the North County, you see a little bit of moisture passing through just east of Bonzo and Valley Center. But other than that, it's mostly dry. As we head over towards Tierra Santa and closer to Mission Valley, there's one little cluster of rain moving through. Pretty steady, but nothing major. And then over the eight near Alpine, also unsettled. In the mountains, What's happening now is not just that cold air that's been kind of bypassing the area, eventually moving into our region next week. So the changes in our headlines include warmer temperatures through Friday, clear and cool conditions overnight, just like last night. It got pretty chilly out there, expecting the temperatures to drop next week. That is when we'll see a shift on this pattern that's been here now for almost three weeks in a row. The winds right now are still gusting out of the east, and you can see those winds averaging 14, 20 miles per hour. So it's still a little windy out there. There, but not too bad and definite sunrises too. Mid 40s right now in Oceanside. It is cold out there. 50 degrees in Escondido and 35 in Ramona. But even though it is cold tonight in many parts of the county, the temperatures will be heating up once again. It's not going to last. We're going to start to see those temperatures cooling back down. And of course, we'll give you all the details in a super seven day forecast. What we also have in store for next week will be cooler weather and the chance for wet weather. Some rain, thunderstorms, possibly snow, and also windy conditions all in the mix as a winter storm ready in place. The main storm system we're going to be tracking is just still sitting farther north. So it's going to be making a journey all the way to the south, eventually tracking across the area by the end of the day tomorrow. As it moves through San Diego County in the afternoon, it is going to bring colder air and eventually it's going to bring some of that heavy rainfall. There's also going to be a lot of wind and the wind has already started, but you can see there is a lot of different warnings to talk about, starting with our coast and inland community a wind advisory until 6 p.m. for the rest of the night and the intensity will be picking up as the cold front moves in. We talked about this yesterday. Once the cold front moves in, we'll see those periods of heavy rain. But even ahead of it, we're starting to see those bands of heavy rain. And we're going to zoom in across the county to show you what is happening in your area. So as we look closer in our pinpoint Doppler live, you can see it is picking up in Chula Vista. And then as you travel along the 805 all the way up north, uh, Rancho San Diego, also some steady rain. We head to the North County. Here's another 
Outer Bay, and this one also pretty decent. This is what we can just bring some clouds. In Alpine today, we picked up, or some of the uh, rain totals rather, accumulations here over an inch in some places. In Ramona, close to an inch. El Cajon, three quarters of an inch. In San Diego, right about the same. So definitely a busy day. Some of the snow totals, Mount Laguna, 14 inches. Julian, three inches. One in Pine Valley in Campo, half an inch of rainfall. And we still have some moisture left over because the storm still moving. Julian, 46 in Ramona. But I want to take you into tomorrow morning to get you ready for ability for a few showers by the end of the week. And it may linger into the weekend. So let's enjoy the sunshine for now. There's a possibility we could have a couple of days of wet weather. It'll start Thursday night and it could potentially continue into the weekend. Our winds, we started with Santa Ana conditions. The winds are starting to get better at this hour, averaging 10, 11 miles per hour. So again, not that windy. In comparison to yesterday, the temperatures are warmer by 5 degrees in Carlsbad, Escondido, about 